When I train folks for Sony on the 6000 series, I like to start out with kind of a 10,000 foot overview. So let's start over here with the crosspoint module. Now the crosspoint module is where you're going to select any of the sources that are coming into the switcher. This top portion here selects the keyers. This bottom portion here selects the backgrounds. This row would be for what's on the air. This row would be what's coming next. And in the middle are the displays that show the names of the sources. Notice that all three of these are virtually identical. The only difference is that on the 6000 panel, the top row has the ability to switch between normal ME operation and AUX bus control operation. And lastly, notice these areas. These show electronically the name of the ME. Now over here to the right are the transition modules. Now, the transition modules are where you would select backgrounds, keys, or a combination of both, and what type of transitions you're going to do, whether it be a mix or maybe a wipe. Over to the right are where you can select the key transitions independently of the main transition. Down here is where you would select an auto trans or a cut. The fader arm which will allow me to do a manual transition. And right here is the display that will show what the automatic transition will be. Now, on this three bank panel, you have a blank panel in the upper right hand corner. Now in this area, you have the option of leaving it blank or adding perhaps a shot box module, a USB memory stick module, or even a device control module. Moving down, we have the trackball module. Now this is used for multiple things. For instance, like adjusting the white position for an ME, for adjusting digital effect channels, for adjusting the keyers resizers, and even for providing transport controls, jog and shuttle for VTRs and DDRs that are hooked up to the switcher. Down in the lower right hand corner is the multifunction module. The multifunction module is kind of the heart of the switcher's control panel. To the left here are the buttons that let me choose which memory area of the switcher I'm using, and on the bottom here, which region of the switcher I'm using them with. In the center are the LCD buttons. The LCD buttons will dynamically change depending on what mode the multifunction panel is in. Over to the right are the adjustment knobs. Now these are used when you have a parameter like a key that requires adjustment. Now these and many more parameters can be adjusted from the touchscreen menu system that you can see behind me.